This is exactly right. I'm Barbara Gray, and if you're going to a concert alone, is there a point in bringing a glass for the bottle of wine? No. No, there's not. So. No. <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and I think it's physically impossible for me to remember what Christian Bale looks like. Hmm. Mm. I'm Tess Barker, and I want to bathe in San Pellegrino. And this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. We got Barbara Brandy and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies to lady, ladies to lady. Oh boy, lady to lady. I lit- I took me a while to picture Christian Bale after you said that. Right? I was like, I really had to concentrate. I, huh? I don't know what he looks like. I, I know exactly I, what he looks like. I just watched The Prestige and every time he came on camera, it was a surprise. I was like, oh, that's what he looks like I had like to again. picture Newsies. No Newsies is my like default Christian Bale. I mean, I find him extremely hot and I don't know. Oh, what I this, do too. I don't know what this says about me, but the first thing I thought of when he said that was American Psycho. Oh. I think that's a lot of people's first go-to God, for him. So, I think it's that's like why like he's so hot in that movie in really? such a disturbing yeah. yeah have you seen yeah. it uh yeah but i don't know what he looks like <laughs> right, right right i just like think of the dog i'm just like oh yeah right he just like and the I think dog because there's the dog in the american psycho that's like, oh hey, oh murder people. i was like hey. no i was like obviously i smoked pot this morning but i was like wait there's a there's a dog named christian bale and i was like trying to think of a famous Probably. dog named christian bale <laughs> somebody out there has a dog named christian bale though yeah right. no question sit christian bale sit yeah somebody definitely has that i just i think it's more a testament to what an actor he is because i don't think yeah. of him as as the person oh he like, really I think of the character loses himself in the role yes. yeah and i just like don't i just don't can't can't picture what he looks like ever. No, i'm just like horny thinking about christian bale <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna say this this is coming out on the 21st uh, tonight i'm in san francisco the rest of this week i'm headlining the hatch tonight at 8 p.m and i'm doing a bunch of other shows i'm at the setup on the 24th this saturday check out my dates on twitter yeah and we're gonna be in chicago on november 17th not the 19th they've changed the schedule oh, yes. a little bit Correction. thursday now Thursday, Thursday the 17th we're going to be opening for uh, Bullseye. Bullseye so mm-hmm. I, was gonna, like a, I wanted to say Rocket Eye I don't know why because of the rocket oh yeah yeah no, no. Uh, we're opening for Bullseye we're opening the whole festival yeah we're like Bowser. the first thing at the festival we're yeah. like maybe yeah. we're going to say Rocket Eye because we're like the Rockettes of the festival right exactly we're, gonna we're the Rockettes of the, of the Chicago podcast yeah. festival yeah we might come out in a snazzy way I bet we will uh, we probably. will probably <laughs> gonna have to stretch we've lost our, we've lost our three person shirt but we'll figure something out yeah we'll have yeah. a three person something going so on. yeah November 17th I mm-hmm. think at 8 p.m. and the tickets are going on sale or they'll be they're on sale now yeah so. by now they're on sale um, and we're going to plan some sort of Chicago meetup we don't have that info yet but we will we'll get so, it together yeah so hang out with us uh, and also I have physical copies of my album available at brandyposy.com go and buy one and I'll send you stickers and pins too they're really fun brandyposy.com the home of brandy on the internet <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you for the wow. tagline. You are hired so not and immediately fired. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was I actually kind of like it. The home of brandy on the, the internet. Home of brandy yeah. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, it's tech. It's true. <laughs> Technically true. You stated a fact. That's why I like my taglines. True. Yeah. You That's know what? It. There's not enough truth in the world. Thank you for putting a little bit more in there. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'm a Brandy Posey truther. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my Show God. us your brand certificate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, we have a fourth lady, as we always do. Um, This week, we have international sensation, (gasps) Ashling B. (gasps) Ashling B, who you've heard on the podcast. Thank you. She's been on the podcast before when we did the uh, Max Fun Switcheroo Week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with Emily Hallar and Lisa Hannawalt. But this time you get to be with the the real cool trio. Cast. You get so, the real yeah. deal. OG Not those bloody ladies. nerds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you had like you're having the experience of like when you go take like a yoga class and you get the sub your first time. I and don't now you're in the real class. Your English there, you get a yoga sub. like a substitute teacher. A substitute. Oh, this is the most Hollywood discussion I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you like hate when your sub teacher is at yoga. And you're like, oh, I know, right? It was a very <laughs> test question because yeah, I don't, I don't understand like, that. Either. Oh my god, my life is so often just dampered by substitute yoga oh, teachers. <laughs> poor thing. That's like that's just such a buzz killer. You know? Well, it's good because she didn't say you're ruined. Like, she said. 
just Giselle. she said damper, which is the appropriate, you know, damper. I would call yeah. it a damper. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a damper. Yeah. Also, Giselle, <laughs> fantastic yoga teacher. All Giselles yeah. are great at yoga, teaching yoga. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. Be. Or like people called spirit. And yeah, right. Like, sure. Oh, right. You, when you were born, you were not going to get a job at like you know Goldman Sachs, were you? Yeah, no. Girl spirit. Giselle, what about gazelles? Do you think they're good at yoga? Gazelles teaching? would be beautiful yoga teachers. Yeah, they'd be I'm very good I think they would be a little dog and stuff like that. I yeah, think yeah. they'd be a little like twi- They would run. But, yeah, it'd be very but skittish. Imagine the Broadway cast of The Lion King with those Giselle oh. puppets oh. teaching Giselle, yoga. Not there Giselle, not Giselle. <laughs> A yeah. Giselle puppet would be. I mean, cool a too. Giselle puppet would be great. Giselle <laughs> looks like a gazelle. I think that's Imagine why. Imagine if yeah. a Giselle walked into uh, the Lion King, and they were like, "I think you're in the wrong show." I think she's like, "Ah, uh, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to model some underwear." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this is the Lion King. We're about to hold Simba up in Pride Rock. <laughs> got it absolutely wrong. Giselle. Just her strutting across yeah, the stage. Like, oh, happen again. <laughs> that would be re- that would be really funny if you were like a model like that if that was the way that you just like you know like when streakers run across football games or baseball yeah. games or something if somebody just like was a gorgeous model just strutting across the outfield oh, I would yeah. laugh so hard that and would then be amazing she got tackled by one of the mascots you can't be <laughs> here Giselle yeah exactly I always I think about Giselle and Tom Brady a lot that's how she leaves Tom Brady. She just like uh, Tom Brady. Talk stuff. about somebody who I could not picture to save my life. No idea. Oh God! I mean, yeah. No clue. When you were talking about Christian Bale, I get it. He, yeah. Channing Tatum, and Tom Brady might all have the same face, which is great body, S- yeah, yeah. but kind, simple, average face. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. Just, I think this is I an interesting that. case study in how personality matters because mm-hmm. I think if we look scientifically at Channing Tatum and Tom Brady, Tom Brady is technically hotter. Right, but we all yeah. want to fuck Channing Tatum way know. more. Yeah. Trust me on this. He's like a Ken doll. He's, okay, okay. he's like objectively hotter, but Channing Tatum is like ninety nine percent of women would rather fuck Channing Tatum. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. it's because yes, yes. of his moves and his personality. Wow. I mean, yeah, okay. He's There's, really hot. I'm showing everyone a picture of Tom Brady. Yeah. I'm not a great picture of him. You know, like he could be anyone. I mean, he could be I, absolutely yeah. anyone. Like, he could be a, a, a police. That's file what I'm saying. Yeah, that isn't anything. Man, anybody. Never be found yeah. If he murdered someone. Yeah, you would absolutely never be able to. Find no. Him. no. But I mean, you have to think. Picture him like as big as he is to really get the hotness. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like right, picture right. how not just a neck up. Yeah, not just a headshot situation. Like picture him like here. Picture him being one of the best athletes in the world and really big. And then adding that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I just <laughs> closed the tab and I still don't know what but it is. Yeah. But I'm also, but I'm going to add, but I'm going to add, and this is someone, I say this as an Uggs enthusiast, okay. although I'm quitting Uggs because of the sheepskin thing, but yes. um, Tom Brady wears Uggs and I think that is such a boner killer. Yeah. yeah. Big time. He wears like the Uggs with the teeth. Maybe he's trying to the kill teeth. lady what? boners though. Maybe he's yeah. trying to like Oh God! I just want to go down to the shop. That's yeah, very possible. that is true. He just wants to be a normal. He doesn't Maybe though. No, he, Tom Brady alone. doesn't. That's not what he wants. You can't imagine he ever doesn't want that one day though. Like Maybe. I bet you, once in a while, yeah. he does not just wants to be. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I just sit just around like, with his gal pals, eating uh, ice cream, watching the bath. He's yeah. friends with Donald yeah. Trump. Like I just can't see Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, he he sucks. Wait, what is the teeth thing? No, you know those like you know how there's like regular eggs that have the flat bottom, and then remember like in the '90s when Skechers had those like white teeth. Oh yeah, okay. I call it. Teeth. treading teeth yeah but Laces. it's like white it looks like i thought you meant like sheep teeth I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh no 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 they just look like teeth wait so it's just Question it's just from treading? europe again what are the yeah. teeth of a shoe oh, it's a tread tread on the this bottom this isn't an american shoe, term like, it's a test term. oh like the yeah, rubber the, <laughs> this is a test term yeah, this yeah is that was an american oh, europe per- okay i feel like i'm getting a lot of bad information <laughs> <laughs> You probably American are. situation from Tess. <laughs> yeah, like that's what we should call this. New words, and I'm like, oh, these aren't. Oh, they just exist in her head. Balls. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is the Tess dictionary. <laughs> but you know what I mean. The grip on the bottom of the shoe. Yeah, but it has to be white. The to grip. Teeth. It has to be so white it's to grip. Teeth. It's oh, like that because they're like it's teeth. like kachink kachink kachink, and then it's white, so it appears to be teeth. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? This okay. Is, <laughs> the shoe is a face, <laughs> and the, the the white rubber would be its teeth. Okay, you don't have to use the teeth thing if it doesn't help you. I'm, I'm <laughs> taking it. It's gone. The first thing I'm going to say at immigration when I come back on my visa. How have you seen the, the tread of his shoes? When I've never seen a photo of the tread of any celebrity's shoes. Because the shoes you that can I'm tell. talking about, you, you can, can tell. tell from the okay. side. Okay. That, that's the tooth that, that, I mean, that's what I mean. It's like there's like a platform. There's little gaps and there's in between. Gaps. Yeah. yeah. It's Looking hideous. Up. I get it. It's a bunch of little diagonal. Like a little yeah. And heel to make himself a bit taller. Is that what you're saying? No, <laughs> I think it's of... just the Tom Brady of it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I. 
And so, but anyway, my point is, Brazil is Brazil. <laughs> Giselle. Giselle. Brazil. Giselle is From Brazilian, Brazil. and her and Leonardo DiCaprio, when they were dating, when yeah. I was working at the Borders in West Hollywood, they came in together. And they were so cute. They were both stoned. Mm-hmm. Leo was going through one of those puffy phases. Like he was just like having oh, fun. Oh, humble Leo. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was yeah. humble Leo. And like they came in and like they just got a brownie and like a mochaccino, Classic and they gram. just like went through the self help section together. And it was like the cutest <laughs> thing. Oh, that's pretty cute. And Giselle was just being all like Brazilian and cute and flirty with him. So it's hard for me to picture someone with that kind of an energy with someone who's friends with Donald Trump. Yeah, is my point about was Giselle. She, was mm-hmm. she kind of guiding him gently towards the weight loss books? No, <laughs> they were both. They, get, they got a brownie Why together. They got a brownie. They, they, they yeah. got the most fattening snack together. It was adorable. They were stoned yeah. and they were like, "Can we get that mochaccino thing and a brownie?" And then they just enjoyed their brownie. That's and cute. Oh, I love very- a, I love a montage of perusing self help books with Leo Dio. Like that's- yeah, <laughs> like her holding up chicken soup for the soul and being like, "Ha ha." ha, ha. Yeah, exactly. Back and one, forth, yeah. like, "Oh, what the about joy this?" Of sex. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I've been on the lookout brownie. for Leo Dio because I found out his dad lived right by me his dad, yeah his dad lives like a few houses away from me That's so hilarious. i've been like bob every time i yeah, yeah i've been go i go on walks and like i i sell like i go on walks you guys wow. is it back and forth is your walk like, yeah yeah it's just in front of the them street. but i i kind of am like <laughs> scoping it out to see if he shows up how that how did you find that out some girl i know like she i don't know she found out some girl who lives in the neighborhood and then I looked up. I was like, I got to see if this is true. Yeah, yeah. And I, up. I just looked up Leonardo DiCaprio's dad and it was a picture and it was the guy who lives there. It was like, oh, that's him. That's the that's guy who lives hilarious. there. Oh, so you've oh, seen so his you've dad. Seen yeah, I've seen his dad. Dude, oh my friends. God. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually see Leo. I know. <laughs> so I'm trying to scope when out When I was 16 Leo. and mm-hmm. I was thinking about uh, wanting to go to Hollywood, this is exactly the sort of story I imagined happening. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 I remember oh being on the phone with my best friend when I was like 16 and being like, the main reason I really want to be successful is to fuck Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. I remember <laughs> saying that. <Yeah. laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he I was that, that like poster child i'm sorry yeah. like we were all coming of like horniness age in mm-hmm. Le- in fucking romeo and juliet that like Radiohead song with him all like wet smoking a cigarette yeah. <laughs> he was too wet for my taste oh not Ugh. me uh, he i was, was like too wet, wet for his- <laughs> he was like that like <laughs> first backstreet boys video where they're all dancing in the rain and nick has the like middle haircut wet. Oh, yeah. i don't right. like the middle haircut wet no. it's not a good it's already yeah. bad but don't get it wet the late <laughs> it's already bad but don't get it wet don't get the middle part haircut wet no. but if that. there the was ever clothes if you get it wet yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. they're nope. just pasted down to their forehead yeah it's no good i my favorite meme and boys there have been many of favorite, <laughs> oh. Ooh, favorite meme oh, my God, i'm laying down the gauntlet my favorite meme mm-hmm. has been a collection of um pictures of doors which uh, uh, highlight how Rose could have fit Jack on oh, the Oh, God. Oh, it's a yeah. great meme. That's it's great. just... It's a hashtag. It's complete hashtag bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, all the, you could have crouched down the bottom. You mm-hmm. could have laid out flat. They could have gone... Um, yeah, why didn't they bed. just make it yeah. like a beam? Just make it a smaller thing. Yeah, yeah make a it a... Why wasn't it a beam? Like, years later, the questions still haven't been unanswered. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I didn't think of that. maritime uh, disaster. That movie ruined my life in, like, the best way. I like I there was like I saw it like five times in the theater and just like cried through the whole thing and then we tried to see it we saw it recently wait we is it I don't remember oh we wait saw we, it we redid it in 3D I forgot yeah <laughs> and kids it does not hold up no, no of course it doesn't it doesn't no, quite get no you way. the way it used to <laughs> no there's no way it you're, does. you're no longer the only thing that will no ever have wet curtains the only ever, thing from Titanic <laughs> that will ever hold up is the old couple that's like well we're gonna oh, die together oh yeah, yeah. No, do you know what gets yeah, me yeah that in, montage with the that yeah, whole there's montage a little, is, the, there's a bit where an Irish mother because she's stuck down and uh, talking and to her kids talking to her kids and she's telling them a really old story mm-hmm. of I- from uh, an Irish Celtic story that we're all told as kids mm-hmm. and it's all about how you go to live in this place called Tiernanog and nobody ever d- it gets old there mm-hmm. and she's telling her little kids going and then Oshin went to Tiernanog and they never grew old and she's telling this to two little kids who are about to die on this ship <laughs> it's a devastating yeah. movie I cried tears Aww. from my little crag of a rock yeah <laughs> that's the best that mm. whole section is like the only really good part oh the side characters yeah great Great, great. Without work. a doubt. I mean, yeah. so are the main characters. I, it's not that uh, it's. Not, Billy I think, Zane. I didn't believe his haircut. Oh, I'm just talking about Leo and Kate. I love them <laughs> oh, both. Yeah. Uh, I think the problem is just the script. It's really, really not well written. It's basic. I mean, it's a basic. I think you know. it's like a. 
it's like if uh, it's like if Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet starred in a Lifetime movie. Yes, I know what you mean. Like, right. are we judging it by like does every movie have to um, be still brilliant? Yeah, twenty years after it's made. If it's like, a drama, I think it should ones, be because imagine like there's phrases and moments from that mm-hmm. that were like like Jack I'm flying like how many well written <laughs> movies have actually gotten bits that people still remember years yeah, later yeah that's true quoted in moments that yeah, yeah not did, everything's like, gonna are hold we up. judging a blockbuster by the standards now that at the time there was no like there wasn't as much that was the first version of CGI and so I remember watching the making of it where they had they were able to have like loads of like fake little people running around the ship mm-hmm. so you thought mm-hmm. now it probably looks very tacky and you're like they're clearly little sims that's yeah. not real <laughs> yeah. but at the time it was like whoa Oh, what a big boat! You know that I think we're judging yeah. it by a different like, standard. That is true. You need to go into Titanic thinking, "Whoa, what a big boat!" And then yeah. I think, if you, like, if you go yeah, in with yeah. that expectation, yeah. you're gonna have a great time. Oh my god! Whoa, what a big boat! A big boat. <laughs> that would be the best trailer ever if that trailer had just been one big shot of the boat coming and then a title card. Whoa, what a big boat! <laughs> or, just, or just like um, Rose going, "Jack, what a big boat!" We need to go in and dub or, over all of that. Like, yeah. like the that couple on the bed. Whoa, whoa, what a whoa, big honey. Or what a big man, the, guy, the guy from Jaws could be like, we're not going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the boat this I was asking fine. for. <laughs> this is what I call a bigger boat. Come on. Uh, <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you, so I've been to Northern Ireland when I was like oh, a teenager. Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, the guys were very excited because I was American, and they would all come up and oh, say, "Will yeah. you go with me?" Was that something you guys oh, said? Would that mean like make make yeah, out, right? Make out. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I was there just thought that was well. shift is another one. Will you shift me? Oh, I that's right. a oh, shift. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. shift. Like, will you? Will you? Yeah. Those okay. are lovely phrases. Another one is for sex. It's like, oh, horse it into me. Horse it into me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I want to, in the same way, Tess, you've given me so much today linguistically. Oh, Please, yeah, yeah, give us that. Back to you. <laughs> Please. Oh. That's a big old phrase. He was horsing it into me. <gasps> yeah. I, can we use yeah. that? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, wait. So, it's a global so phrase. So, in context, is it like that's when you're talking to your girlfriends? Like, I got a horse be... last night? N- no, but we've never said I got a horse last night. Okay. I like I got horsed. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like Tess, you said I did get horsed last night. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no, that's a very so specific. <laughs> that's, a very, very, that's a very specific, like, yeah. There's a very specific encounter. rhythm. Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like, yeah. I've never seen you looking so lovely. It's like, ah, yeah, <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Will we get some tea? Yeah. No. Exactly. I want to make can... horse to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make horse, horse to you, you like you want me to. <laughs> like you could even horse your tongue into someone as well, which definitely says like a... Blah, 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 blah. You oh, know, yeah. Like a quality of, you know... I don't think horsing is for kissing. No, it no, can no, no. be though. He horses his tongue, but definitely horsing into me. Is oh, not yeah, he, right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. also have in Ireland the word ride. So if you ride someone, that means to have with them. Okay. Uh, and someone can be a ride. So you find, oh. um, say, for example, you like found I found my ride. Leonardo uh, this is great. To be a ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. My funnest thing though is I when love Americans this. come over and they're really sad and they're talking about something serious and they're like, oh my God, I was so bummed. I was just so bummed by his death, and you're like, "Oh my god, don't laugh, don't laugh," because bummed but. in the UK only. Oh, means that means fucks up the bum. Right. Oh. It oh. only means. Oh, I, I didn't know bummed. that. If you got bummed, no, that means someone horsed you up the bum. <laughs> no, yeah. If yeah, you yeah, got yeah. bummed, yeah. that means someone it's horsed only you up the bum. And being bummed, I thought I loved bumming. It. Only I thought thing. bumming just meant sex. I didn't realize it was. Oh, it's oh, it's bum. Uh, it's just it's bum. Yeah, very yeah, it's specifically butt sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when people come over, they're like, "He died," and we were so bummed. And I'm like, "Oh, what? I can't believe you're all." bummed because he died we all express was... grief in different ways yeah. <laughs> what, what, grief is a butt fuck what a yeah. to, get over, to get over your father's death wait so it's so the fun. ride one like so you'll be at the bar and like you like your friend and you're like my ride's here who no, you what think you, you call them a ride or yeah. oh, a ride no yeah no my rides here would be my ubers here Oh. Uh, yeah, you, no, but like if you see a guy a that you're gonna fuck, it's like, like new yo, levels my to our English. It's great. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, oh my god, that guy's such a ride. Oh my mm. god, I was riding this absolute ride last night. He was such a ride. <laughs> I got ridden. It was great, but he's a real ride. Oh yeah, he's a ride. Like that would be. How I wonder what would Uber yeah. be like. We I Ubered him. I Ubered would that be him. like like it was a 15 minute thing you, you never saw each other again you yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah he was an out of work actor and you paid less and than you were slightly scared <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> regrettable deal uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and he looked not like his picture yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> and you could see where he was the whole time. <laughs> yeah. That's maybe funny. that's what an Uber my, would be. My uh, Uber driver last night was talking about how, because I was going to this concert and he was like, the last concert I went to was I took my daughter to Justin Bieber. I was like, oh my God, Aww. that must have been insane. He was like, yeah, it was. Nah. Yeah. My hairdresser <laughs> said that he's seen, he sees everyone. Like yeah. he's like me, you know? Uh, and uh, you go to lots of gigs. You go to loads of like music. Gigs I love going to pop shows. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Uh, and he said Justin Bieber. He's he has never in his like twenty years of going to pop shows seen as insane of an audience. He said you couldn't. Oh, hear it Justin must. Bieber. I mean, I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah they're all screaming. It's like seeing the Beatles. Yeah, it's like seeing the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go. Stop screams. Could, I yeah. don't want that. I want to see the show. To. We've talked about. While, so here's my Bieber journey. Yeah. He. <laughs> He is what can only be described as an underage adult and it's inappropriate to watch him play the guitar. But there's something about him that has an old soul about him. So it's yes. very difficult. We're yeah. in dangerous waters. Yeah. He has that little ch- um, <laughs> video where he's doing so, cry me a river. Yeah. Won't you cry me a river? And I'm like, ah, you're 11, but so not 11 in many ways. Yeah. And I remember when I was first watching it, because Usher discovered him, I was in the kitchen watching it and my sister came down the stairs and went, what are you doing? And I slammed the laptop and went, nothing. Yeah. And you can't slam a laptop laptop and go nothing without it being something yeah and so for a while i was like oh go away and then there was baby 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 no and i'd love when that came on but i was dancing ironically to it in the same yeah, way yeah. you danced to one direction there was a mm-hmm. bit of am and i so ironic like when i use right. all yeah it's the same kind of vibe and then he went away he became a bad boy he had his time then in the last year he's come back with three <sighs> swinging hits oh yeah this and new and album is great love yourself the mm-hmm. oh that what music video is so good my mother can was we, fond of you oh can we talk about how <laughs> Sick. The dancing God. is in that music video. Yes. Like, I love how he's making lyric storytelling dancing like a mm-hmm. popular thing in music. I mean, really, Sia is the one who brought that back. He's taking a turn from Sia's page. Yes. Sia. But, um, <laughs> I mean, we'll have to do another podcast on this subject matter. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so like, I, I go through this hole where, like, I'll watch Sorry, you Lose Yourself, then I go into the Sia hole. And then, yeah, yeah I just love those that kind of, like, dancing video. Yeah. Just, did you guys see? Dance. Somebody just posted him. He did a acoustic cover of uh, Fast Car, Fast Car, Tracy Chapman. <gasps> Who did? Just a just, It's really good. Because he, he, oh, can, he can sing no. and play the guitar. Oh, yeah. He can really sing. Yeah, and talented. also, yeah. I remember in my, at the start of my Justin Bieber journey, I just remember him doing this interview with this woman who was in her 30s. She was like, hi, here we are with this new sensation. He's called Justin Bieber. And I remember seeing this like 13-year-old go, mm-hmm. yeah, it's all pretty cool. And he put a <laughs> hand like on her lower back and she went, ah! <laughs> and she lost her mind. Yeah. Like, what is this baby child doing? <laughs> <laughs> you had to kind of like throw her like, you're amazing you know what <laughs> we needed justin bieber and we deserved him mm. and it's we were the, yeah we were ready for him <laughs> you you as a society it was Titanic. time you needed a new yeah yeah we'll see you guys in i a can't minute. wait yeah okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Barbara. I'm Tess. And we're here with Ashling B. Hello. Did you miss us over that last 30 seconds? <laughs> I know that you did. <laughs> um, we're going to play a game. Ooh. And we've had some people sending in covers of the songs. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. They're so awesome. Yeah, it's been really cool to hear the different variations. And you can send them to us at Lady to Lady at MaximumFun.org. And this one comes from... Abigail Clark. Abigail Clark. Thanks, Abs. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I feel like we're close enough. <laughs> yeah. Hit it, David. Would you rather, 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 would you, would you rather, would you rather, would you rather, would you, would you, would you rather? That's awesome. Lock the pillow. I love that one. That is impressive as fuck. Do you think that's her doubling up or does she have a pal? I think it's her. Yeah, I bet you it's her doubling it up. Yeah. Great work. That's impressive. Duetting with yourself. Yeah. Hmm. It's amazing. People who can, I mean, anybody can produce music of any kind, like, blows my mind. Yeah, how's your class going? Good. It's been two weeks. I mean, it's just been like a few weeks. Uh, But I'm I'm taking some classes at the community college, some music classes. (gasps) Oh. (laughs) It's been fun. I don't, you know, I don't know. I've learned more than I've ever known about, like, piano and reading music and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how I got. Maybe you'll get I've got a quiz on Monday. If you're good Mm -hmm. enough. How's maybe yeah? We'll maybe you have, to, you have to submit I, Babs, and if we like your stuff, maybe we'll. You're not, okay, uh, okay, yeah, we'll see. We'll you're see. Not if I have an easy ride into this. This isn't gonna. Be I was to laughing because we have to like make songs in the one class that's introduction to electronic music. Oh. <laughs> 
So, um, which I told Tess and Brandy, like the fucking, the fucking assistant guy for the teacher yeah. is the m- most annoying, like mansplaining person I've ever oh, met in my entire gosh. life. And he just comes over and takes over your, your station and starts fucking with the thing you've been making. Ugh. And it's like, get the fuck away. And he also doesn't know what he's doing. So it's like the worst combination of all of those things. And also electronic music. Is it? <laughs> it's, it's anything it can, you yeah, can, you're like, you know, you can choose whatever. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm maybe I think I'm just gonna use it to like make some of our covers. <laughs> we'll see. Pretty excited. We'll see. <laughs> Is like no one stopping this guy? No, he must. Be I'm stopped. gonna have to, if he it keeps getting stopped. bad. I'm just gonna be like, get the fuck away from yeah. me. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, it's also like most of the class is what 19 year olds. No, so. it's actually a mix. That one's okay. like all ages. Okay, that's yeah. good at least. Yeah. Tess, I really like the way you're... Is no one stopping this man? Is well, no one really? stopping him? Yeah. He's just walking around, uh, taking over people's projects? Yeah, I don't know yeah, what he's the point is of him because he's not helping anyone. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. was, those people need to know that they have no point. I think what Tess is going to do is she's going to record this podcast onto a CD and oh. leave it at his house. Maybe. <laughs> like, please listen, it's about you being great. And then he's going to have some truth bombs. Yeah, yeah. Here, like, here's a call. remix. And it's like, you suck, you suck, you suck. Leave my friend alone. <laughs> you, <laughs> suck, you, <laughs> suck, you suck, you <laughs> suck, you suck. You <laughs> suck. I'm going to drop the beat. <laughs> 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 oh, a big shout out to everyone who sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about this before. And I've had, I have had some people, some listeners say that they would like to be part of my singing telegram company. Right. <gasps> yeah. Uh, and I think we should add you suck to one of the options. Like, oh, yes. that would be great. That would right? Be great. So I think it's quitting your job, mm-hmm. breaking up with someone, and you suck. Qu- breaking up with someone, that's more expensive because we have to send security with that person. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Quit- well, I guess security guards who can also sing, then you're like a double. Exactly. Double yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, like a yeah. generic you suck, it's that's, a bargain. Yeah. I mean, and like, that's a great way to find out you suck. Yeah. <laughs> It's really lovely to get constructive criticism like that. It's very important. It's like the person, perfect yeah. mix of oh like, God, sure, so it's much. passive aggressive, but also it's not. You're being direct and you're not yeah. just yeah. like sending them an email. You're, no. yeah. They're Wait, getting FaceTime with a, somebody. <laughs> telling it's them entertainment it's even. Yeah. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah, right? I mean, you know I'm into this. But I'm so scared of getting one, though. What if you got one of those? I I, I have gotten him, and it hasn't been in (laughs) singing telegram form. I would love, (laughs) like, if if I went out with someone really who had loads of money that they could afford through your company to send me Justin Bieber, who could Mm. sing You Should Go and Love Yourself to me. And I'm like, oh, my God, I really should like that. that's Imagine that burn. That's sort of like the Uber that calls you a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That's like when you scroll your finger right to the top accidentally, and you're like, $400? Yeah. To go down the road. I mean, that's that's why, like, uh, oh, what are they called? Oh, my God. Images that are... Apples. No, Me. they're... Holograms. Holograms. Glass. That's okay. why holograms are going to really come into play, because you're going to be able to have your own uh, Justin Bieber to play in your yes. room to sing yeah. to you. you got We have to all start putting hologram clauses in our wills. Yeah. Like, that's a thing. Oh, yeah. I, do you guys... What do you guys want? I want to I wanna know hologram. Oh, I, I bet I don't people wanna, will hologram me and I'm all right with it. I'm putting mm. it in my will. I don't want... you. Yeah, will not people are just going to do it, though. I think you have to make the choice. Or at least yeah. leave a picture that you're happy hologramming. I don't want to be a hologram. Happy hologram. Want to be a hologram. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. Happy hologram. Why though? Why? <laughs> because I just, I hate the idea of like, it's not you. Pr- yeah. Like it, it, it feels very like dance monkey dance when you're dead. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, and see, I'm, I'm like... a very dance monkey dance person. So I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. I watch this really good. Um, I watched this really documentary called Rest in Pixels. It was on in the UK. So I'm not sure if you can find it on YouTube here, uh-huh. but it's all about um, the new. Um, so we're, there are 30 million people on Facebook who are dead. And so you can oh, still leave right. like little bits and bobs to them. Mm-hmm. And it's about how we now like to be to be dead and to be buried and to go away is very important for the human psyche. Mm-hmm. But we're almost allowing ourselves to stay in a childlike mm-hmm. state because yeah. we still have these places where we can go and pretend that they live in the exact same way as they used to. Oh, we'll put a message on their wall. We'll do this. And there's this company mm-hmm. that are creating almost like faux bots of people. Oh to my send god! To no, the dead. that's literally they a Black together. Mirror episode. Yeah. Well, exactly. So yeah. when that Black Mirror came out, the Black Mirror episode features in this documentary and the people who are running the company go oh yeah when the black bear um, thing came out we were like yeah that was like we're, it's the, that's our business Ugh. essentially what Aww. we're doing even though we don't have the robots yet we put together a personality based on your Twitter your Instagram like all the at times you've been on the internet and get messages that would be akin to something you'd send and can send them to your loved ones I hate and that you've got, it's awful because even though people might want it in their moment of need Oof. It's, They're not it's letting dr- go. It's moving on. It's, go. Their, it's not, not accepting forward. death, which is the no. most natural thing. And we're yeah. like, are we allowing people to die? Well, and it's you're you're arresting your development. Completely. Yes, and so the same with yeah. like the um, the hologram thing. Maybe we should just accept Tupac's gone. 
Yeah. And that he's not coming back. Yeah, but no, but more, but here's the thing. This is my whole robot philosophy. You can <laughs> fight it if you want. It's coming. The right. holograms yeah. are coming. Yeah. The Facebook program is coming. I mean, I know mm. they are. But putting the thing in your will, but it makes sense to be yeah. like, but I don't want to. At I, least I, after yeah. you die. Yeah. I like, would like to be a conscientious objector to being holograms. Yes. Conscientious objector? To being, Hot. yes. Yeah. Do you know how many warehouses <laughs> of information are being stored on every action you've ever taken? No, no, no but to being holograms. Conscientious objector? To everyone's like, yeah. I have nothing to hide. Everyone knows everything. Your data, you've already yeah. signed off on it. I know. It's already I don't out. want them to like make it. I don't want them to make me after I'm dead. But that's what I mean. We're being so... Uh, willy nilly with the information that you we l- just leave this like mm-hmm. trail of data everywhere. Like well, we yeah, haven't yeah. been. It's, it's because everything's happened so fast. Everything's developed so fast. There hasn't been rules. So I was watching another program about um, doing up how the the rise of like DIY shows. And there was this man in the 1960s and they were showing the first ever DIY show. And he was like, well, I think I've been thinking about it for three years and we're almost ready to paint the sitting room magnolia. <laughs> and they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's I don't know if, uh, I mean, we don't want to make any hasty decisions. And now it's like, okay, we got 30 minutes yeah, to transform 30 minutes this to house. Your whole yeah. That's so funny. But actually with that, I suppose you'd have time to take in the social change of a house, what mm-hmm. that's going to affect your vibes. The, mm-hmm. it, ju- it just, everything was slower. So you got used to stuff. Now, so much has changed culturally to our genetics, to how we sleep, that we're not even sleeping anymore. Our body doesn't know how to catch up. And sometimes yeah. it is worth having maybe maybe a conscious objector to be a little bit of a speed bump to go, guys, is this definitely the right thing to do? Yeah. I know there's so much. I just meant that. I just meant that more people when they talk about like a, Breach like data that's being yeah. stored on them. They're always oh, like, yeah. I have nothing I mean, to hide. I, have nothing I feel to like hide that's different. Like, different I, I think she's talking about something it's, else. It yeah. isn't that different. It isn't that different because well, you might not images, want to though. consent to your images mm-hmm. being used. That's mm-hmm. my point, though. Like without yeah. your consent, Consent's you have already, already consented mm. to a lot of your images being used. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like that's my, my only point. Like yeah. you've already consented. I mean, that's when people say this shit doesn't matter. It's like you think that because you're not like a drug dealer or something. But no, but like if people are using my hologram to make money touring it or something like that's what i'm thinking down the line like, yeah that is what i want to block you know if you you trick someone into a contract though that contract doesn't stand so if you're like hey mm-hmm. would you just like autograph this for me and it says i give you one yeah. million dollars and they're you like ah. it doesn't stand up in the court of law it does so stand I up wonder, in a court of law if you don't read an agreement when you if you it. don't read an agreement yes and none yeah. of us read but i wonder as there been is there an argument that the agreements are fed to us and like just take this box away the fact that you can Mm-hmm. ticket without reading it you can just scroll and yeah. there's no way of like if you're in a lawyer's office they make sure you physically read it read the entire thing so yeah. if you're i, I don't i don't think any... that you should have any rights there i think you you if you i mean i'm guilty of this i don't read it either but mm. but it's certainly our prerogative to read it if we want to i mean no one's stopping you from reading it but should there be is there a way that people isolate uh people from jar with jargon Mm-hmm. And that actually of it's course. a moral in I mean, many ways. They, they all know of where course, but, you, but yeah. you you could learn that jargon and you could with some thought read it. But the it's fact is boring. that no one is yeah. and no one will. So yeah. it what it you know. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like the law hasn't been totally the finalized. The protection of people isn't yet. yeah, so priority. No, yeah. nobody has your best interests in hand. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well we all I know have that. your <laughs> best interests in hand. Yeah. I have your best interests in hand. I mean, I think I just think that a lot about let that hologram happen. Only because I work I like because of like working on the internet and shit, like the pictures of like kids that are on there like mm. instagram facebook twitter all that stuff when you use any of that stuff you literally mm-hmm. right you're saying it's are okay saying yeah. everyone can use this and right oh um, even yeah. if it's of a they minor so there's all yet. these kids in this generation who have had their fucking picture mm-hmm. charlie bit my up. finger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who's that charlie bit my finger you know charlie like bit the first, my finger the first, like, big YouTube one video. of the big oh, viral yeah. hits mm-hmm. and they were like babies they're kids they're adults now and that they've had this like they didn't choose to be in that video or right. other images right. posted right so i wonder what it'll be like like this is going to be the first generation that came of age where it's like wow mom and dad like i did you without my consent yeah plastered the internet with images of they're me. not gonna yeah. i don't think they're gonna care because it's gonna be so normal like yeah. the thing is, we plaster our shit all over the place. Like they're that's they're gonna be their lives. Their shit's plaster all over the, the from when they're a kid, from when they're d- making that choice themselves. Mm. It's probably gonna be. I wonder what yeah. the psychological yeah. effect you know. is. Like I had a really freaky thing with my friend's kid the other day, where I went, "Oh, look at this!" And it's almost like she could hear my iPhone lift into the air oh, and, and hover just... over, and she just turned away and went. And she's two. Oh my god! And she knew to smile for the camera, like mm. she knew where the iPhone was. That oh, we have to collect a moment and we move Isn't on. Isn't that weird? Collect a moment and move on. 
And she knew that, oh, I get photographed during the day, almost like yeah. a celebrity coming out of a hotel. My niece is four and she wants to see every picture after I yes, take it. Yes, yes, Make sure yeah. it's good. Wow. Isn't that weird? Because that's what she's used to adults doing. Show me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Even that, I mean, that's got to affect how you, you look at the world. Yeah. How you look at yourself. Oh, how you look at yourself. You're criticizing. Like, I don't... From such a young age. I'm trying to think of the first time that I was critical of my physical appearance. Ooh. Like it was really for me because I was a child actor. actor but right. Yeah. Were you a child I actually, actor? yeah. I, I'm wondering about late. this, you guys. I was thinking about this yesterday. I do not do mirror checks. Like, I realize that, like, I get busted, like, because I, I'll like, go for hours and hours and hours without looking in a mirror and I'll be yeah. partying or whatever. Yeah. And then I'll look later and just my mascara is, like, on my neck, you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys do that a lot? I don't, like, check. And so I, I have bad skin when I was, like, in my early 20s. And so I got obsessed with, like, mm-hmm. always going, oh, God, is it is okay? Do I look okay? Right, oh. and it's a habit that you create. Then I think so. Mm-hmm. If you're yeah. like, it, uh, it, it's much better to be the way you are. Well, but I am very aware of it. But I just don't look. I don't know. It's weird. I don't like check it. I'm like, mm. I like get ready to go out, and then I won't look at myself for like five hours. I don't do that. What I do is I'll just like once in every couple hours. I'll just do like quick. Like I'll rub underneath my eyes, right? And be like, eyes, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get whatever the extra is. <laughs> if, if something's weird, I'll just like wipe it out. If you're like, why is there? Who on my finger? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. How many hours has this Shouldn't been going on? Shouldn't have had that for? tumble with the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like. I feel like if I'm in front of a mirror, I will look at it. Yeah. Well, no, if I'm fr- but I don't to like. Be honest, I, I, I'm not saying that. that. I love you. I love you. I'm not saying that. Like, oh, oh, oh. I just yeah. meant like I don't do check. Like I don't purposely go to find, find, find yeah. a mirror. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't. I don't do that. I remember I talked about this before. This one guy I was dating who I realized I think just had a lot of like self-esteem issues mm-hmm. because mm. every time we would meet out somewhere, he would have to go to the bathroom right away to like make sure he looked all right. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. That's sad. It was Did you find so you grew up in LA and you were a child actor yeah how did that affect like per like it did it chill you out because you've had it so much so young or did it make you like <gasps> um it made me definitely a workaholic mm. uh so that and then it ma- yeah it gave me like weird images with like self-image weird issues yeah. with like self-image and stuff because like from too early i think from too early of an age i was like worried about how i looked all the time yeah i don't think i cared until maybe like 12th grade like What's i, I 12th truly grade didn't is, like care. what age is that uh, 18. 17, 18. 17. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And I think it was like a, I had a really bad breakup, and I think that that's why. I, I, yeah. Before that, I was really? like, really, yeah. I don't, I wow. don't think I cared at all before mm-hmm. that. That's I mean, amazing. I like liked, I dressed a certain way, I liked the way I looked, but I yeah. never was like, is that okay? Do I look okay? Like, oh I, my god! Wow. Yeah. 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 I oh was yeah. Like, yeah. I was always like, no, yeah, I'm fine. I look fine. Yeah. I think I was about there too. I definitely didn't give a fuck, and yeah. It oh, was, you know. Wow. Yeah, I was younger. I'd say eleven or something. I remember my mother. It was when the Jennifer Aniston haircut came in, mm. and I was this <laughs> child with long black hair in Ireland. And my mother's like, "We're going to get you a style in your hair. <laughs> I'm bringing you over to the nearest town we're to get a you the style." Rachel. <laughs> And we're going to get your Jennifer Aniston haircut like and friends. And I was like, oh, <laughs> What brilliant. a funny thing for a mom to like. Oh, she was like, we're getting your style. You look yeah. a bit like a gypsy. Let's go. <laughs> so um, the hairdresser was just getting his head around the idea of the Rachel cut. There's been oh. a few requests from America. Oh, my you know, God. What? And we didn't think what? about what the hairdressers went going. through at that time. Everyone, he kept on the whole going world trying did to get the it Rachel? right. Oh, no. oh, yeah. So he kept on going to get it right. So I was like, oh, that's from, you know, from having hair down to my waist. Went from oh, having no. hair down to under my chin. Then he kept on going oh, no. right up to my nose. Oh, no. All of a sudden, I had a bob oh, no. with like bits coming down on my ah. face. And I was like 11. Oh. So it was an adult's oh, head no. of hair <laughs> on an 11 year old. And I wore, there's no pictures of me between the age of 11 and 13. I wore like an Alice band, you know, like a thick bit of yeah. fabric, mm-hmm. but basically would pull it down almost oh. all over my face for about two years. Because my friend told me, and it didn't make any sense when I went into school, because I cried, missed a day off school. Went into because of the, next the Rachel, day. the because Rachel, of my, my, because of Jennifer <laughs> Aniston, real name Anastasianopoulos. Um, I uh, I've been hating on her for years now. Whoa! I went to school the next day, and my friend Irene, who mm-hmm. bullied me a little bit, said, "Oh, you look like Tina Turner." And Compliment. I didn't understand, like it didn't, w- like I was like, I don't want to look like a, an older woman who dances around the place and who my mother likes. I don't want yeah, to look yeah. like Tina Turner. I'm 11. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and from, the, from that rough moment, year old. <laughs> I Fair. wore this yeah. like headband and refused to like have my picture taken. I yeah. felt like a, 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 like a creature from the dead. And I was really <laughs> so sad about it. 
I was like the ugliest God, thing. God, it's could crazy imagine. how like one thing like that can really. Yeah, and I look back like when I think of myself, you know, eleven or twelve, and you're just a kid. You've no sex about you, and yeah. you think you're ugly. There's nothing Aww. more beautiful than youth. And you yeah. squander it. I know. You squander it on the Rachel. And what? <laughs> Awful. What the fuck was it about the fucking Rachel? Oh like it was God. a good haircut for Jennifer Aniston, but for like her long face, but not for my giant roly Irish head. Yeah. Why did we yeah. all? Why did we all have to get the Rachel? I love I, that. I it was no so certainly didn't break. Yeah, you definitely well. did. <laughs> <laughs> your curls. Can you imagine trying to get like this the, style the straight? Yeah. In your curls. <laughs> yeah, it was a bizarre phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. Also, really... it's not that crazy a haircut. No, it's like, just layers. I swear it was like something nutty, but it was just <laughs> like three <laughs> different layers in your hair. Yeah, and, and like straight oh as hell. Oh my god. Yeah. Not since shaving your head and being a Buddhist has something so dramatic <laughs> happened to hair. To the hair community. To the hair <laughs> I mean, do you think hairdressers at the time? I mean, there was no Twitter. I wonder if, they, like, on cigarette breaks, if they were just like, out? that fucking Rachel. How do yeah. we figure it out? How to do it? Or, like, some people going, oh, I have no idea what I did. That Look at it. Head. I'm just I'm calling just it the Rachel. Pictures of it. just it's just yeah. like, Rachel. also, she yeah. looks so better now. 90s. That's she the picture we all use. That's the exact much picture we used as well. Yes, we bring that is the And you cut it out of magazine to go, that please. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh um, okay, God. we'll do one would you rather. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I, I, uh, would, would you rather have a dragon or be a dragon? Yes, thank God. You, I was like, this there is the best go. one. Yeah. Mm. I'd rather have one. It's a lot of responsibility. But you get to ride it everywhere? Like, you get to fly? And they Think get, how vilified pit bulls are in this city. <laughs> you want but a then, dragon? But what are you talking about? But then you are one. You'd so have it's to like, have then the you're the vilified one. Of, um, I just want to live in the mountains queen. anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's her name? Game of Thrones? Oh, Daenerys. Stormborn. Daenerys. Star- you'd have Khaleesi. to have the sassiness of that. Because you don't want to have a dragon and not be able to maintain it. No, I'm yes. thinking, like, you Do guys you are, like, best friends. Oh, you know? yeah, this yeah. is Like a Pete's dragon scenario. It's a Pete's dragon. Of course. Your dragon loves you. Yeah. Of course. So, I mean, the people, great. A security guard. It's like a mode of transportation. Yeah, you probably make money by like going on tour. Save with it. money on Uber. I, I for sure yeah. want to be the dragon. Yeah, for sure. I mean, breathe you fire. Be the dragon? For yeah, sure, I be the dragon. Be the dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah. that means you give up being like you can't like fuck a guy ever again because uh, you're a dragon. I would masturbate with a dragon thing. <laughs> <laughs> with a dragon thing <laughs> you'd really be horsing someone Tessa if you fucked them as a dragon Tessa <laughs> dragon just wanking away <laughs> in the middle of the freeway but how oh, though like, how, another dragon. putting my claws into a mountain like, <laughs> I'm saying yeah where, where how would you do that because you have claws how are you going to jerk off um, I would make a vibrator out of a skyscraper <laughs> there you go fair enough yeah that's great <laughs> I That's think you've great. overestimated the size of dragons, but I, uh, I admire <laughs> the amount. <laughs> also, I think you've underestimated how well I can horse. <laughs> You'd also have a bunch of gold if you were a dragon. Yeah, yeah. look at the mountains. Wait, why do they, they have gold? Yeah. Dragons always have gold. They have a pile of what? gold. What? Yeah. You did know not know that was a dragon. Well, and Lord thing. of the Rings, leprechaun. Yeah. yeah. I don't uh, think dragons no, have gold. No, no, they do. Have gold. Yeah, they do. Why? Where are they in the Hobbit? They, in, in they the don't need it. They don't spy anything. <laughs> they love it though. They love. They gold. protect they it. Buy. That's yeah. you always have to because in the myths you I always have to pass the dragon to get the gold. I'm, yeah. I'm with pr- Team Barbara exactly. here. Yeah. I guess yeah. they test gets hoard it. gold. They hoard gold. They're <laughs> hoarders. I'm fine with that. There's going to be a program about them. You got to get rid of this gold out of your basement. But oh, that's a really funny sketch. Just like going to a dragon's house with a bunch of gold. Like I don't know. It was my mother's. No. It doesn't hold any emotional attachment this anymore. We gotta get rid of your gold. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of trash gold, did you guys see that uh, semi truck full of blank pennies that overturned on the freeway? Blank wow. pennies? Yeah. No. For some reason, it was like the most beautiful <gasps> visual. On its to way me. to the mint. It was beautiful. on its way to the mint, and it was just this like semi truck of blank pennies that just Ooh. like I think it, they said it was eighteen thousand dollars worth of blank pennies that would just spilled all over the that highway. Sounds pretty. Is that cool? I yeah. wonder, can you use them? Well, there aren't really many penny machines. It would take a while to get like a can of coke out of a vending yeah. machine with a load of penny. But well, and they're not even they minted, used. so they're just blank. But could they but still? Would they still hold the same weight? No, in, I don't. In a machine, I think they would have to. Yeah, I don't know how those machines. Well, no, because the machines know if it's a Canadian penny. I'm sure they know if it's a blank penny. That's true. That's but possible. a Canadian penny, it's about weight. So yeah. when they, they, how they know what money is going in is because it weighs a certain amount. So fifty cent weighs a certain amount to a whatever. But it would weigh different. I'm assuming amount. it would weigh a little bit differently after it's minted. A minted and engraved. Yeah. They probably just stamp it right. I always thought that they like were doing something with the print, but maybe mm. if it's just the weight. Mm. 
Maybe that. Maybe with all those blank pennies, they take them to one of those like boardwalk crank penny oh. machines. Oh. We just yeah. mint all those. Yeah. You guys, let's get that. Let's invest in a lady to lady crank uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. And everyone can yes. come to this garage and be yeah, like, yeah, tourist. Oh, I found a penny. some pennies. Can I use your machine? Do you remember thinking yeah. that I, ca- I got a few of those? It was oh, like, those were why? awesome. Oh, why yeah. do I? Have? Because those are great. The, the thing with those is, um, a like your parents didn't really used to give you that much money, so you're like, cool, I can afford this. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. you also got the thrill of watching it being made. So that yes, was part of it. That's true. It, it was the watching it being made. Something. Yeah. It was the all three stuff. Did you have the one where they'd roll it out? into like a, yeah. a long that's what we're saying yeah, yeah. and then they would yeah, press yeah. a stamp into it yeah. it was cool I would like to do one of those right now oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh that'd be great uh, we're gonna go flatten <laughs> some pennies <laughs> <and be> back <laughs> hello it's lady to lady why, why? Barbara Gray. Wow, what happened? <laughs> what was the why about? <laughs> where no, what, where did the why come from? I don't know. I just, it just came that out. That was crazy. <laughs> like in between, in between, before saying your name, like another It was like why? a Robert Durst moment. It was a, yeah. Like, yeah. It was like a burp. Why? Like A philosophical burp. It. Instead, of, instead of burping, you just go, why? <laughs> why? Why? What Who a casual have? existential crisis. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of me in a nutshell. Um, we, we, we came up with some um, choker truths. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah! Very important. Yes. Uh, just to all the young ladies out there who maybe weren't uh, around during the nineties, early two thousands, please, please be careful what neckline T-shirt you wear with your chokers because you That's do not right. shorten your neck. Mm-hmm. The more you, so know. it needs to be a long neckline. I for... think, I think yes. so, okay. Barbara. Yes, I'm going to think... be buying one soon. So if you I'll wear send, a choker I'll with send a collar you... neck, people will think you have a disability. <laughs> right, right. I'll send you. I'll send you pictures, and you can tell me. Yeah, yeah. I That's think. Okay. Th- so I guess the idea is you want a nice long line of flesh, and then you want to cut that with a choker. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Long line of flesh. But if, if, you have, if you have no long line of flesh, then a choker, it's pretty much just your face to the top of your t-shirt. Yeah. And yeah. people will be like, ah. It's almost like a turtleneck at that point. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah. a turtle. Well, I call it a polo neck. bad. Oh, turtleneck. Turtlenecks are fine. I like turtlenecks, but they're not. It's but you want to have a neck within a turtle. Within a turtle. You don't want right. to. What look. if you put a choker over your turtleneck and just. Ooh, that's a new oh, one. That is a is no it still a choker go. then? Yeah, that is a no go. Yeah. That is a I think that might be a new thing. Wear it to Beyonce. I'm going to wear it to Beyonce. You know what? You know what? If anyone is going to do it, it will be, we know who won Miss Britney G. Spears and it will be happening this fall. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Britney will do that. Oh, Br- Britney is the it. one who brought back the Joker. She yeah. hasn't stopped wearing them. She has. She broke up with Justin Timber. Like she's afraid her neck will. No, fall she has, this is recent. The Joker is recent. She has she's been wearing the, the same Joker, Joker for like this last six. Yeah, months. I mean she's, she's been bringing it back. Yeah, oh, she's been bringing it back. Re- like in the last six months, what do we say? We've been tracking her Joker pretty closely. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me think of that that um that scary story about like the girl when she takes off the ribbon and then her neck falls. Oh my god. Yeah. I always think about that whenever I see chokers. It's so yeah. funny that like, that story was also told in Ireland pre-internet. That's like I know that story you know, from yeah. being told. That's around, a like, pretty that classic ghost story. Yeah. yeah. But it like it, it ha- didn't make it into a movie. It's not a like it how did. an urban it's myth in, traveled. Well, mm-hmm. it's in some movie later on. But yeah, no, you're right. Before yeah, like when I was yeah. a kid, I knew that story. Mm-hmm. Which is just yeah. It must come from some like. It was probably written in Ireland. There's that. Did yeah, you have, um, did you have the like yeah. headlights one where there's the guy, like there's a woman driving and there's somebody flashing headlights and behind her, she gets out and they're like, there's a man in your back seat or whatever. Oh, no. That one's horrifying. One. Yeah, that one's oh, scary. Oh. <laughs> I hate that. I mean, I still I check my like back seat. Yeah. Or the yeah. one about the dog that's choking and then he has like the fingers of a <gasps> burglar. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Or did that you have the crazy. drip, drip, drip and she can't find what the drip, drip, drip is in the house. Yes. The drip, chip, she feels. And then she goes in and she sees a woman. It's blood. Or... It's blood. She's stuck to the ceiling. <gasps> and the drip, drip, drip is a drip of her blood in the shower. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> talk about a lady happen. problem, right? <laughs> 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 We've all been there, girls. <laughs> in the shower. Victorian murder Looking for what's attic. dripping. Turns drip, out drip, it's your drip. It's that time of the month. Yeah. <laughs> God, I hate that word, drip. Especially when it's used in context of cocaine. <laughs> drip. Uh, it's yeah, like drip. Oh. what? What oh. is it? What it's, is? It's uh, the back of the text. throat. It's like thing. when it goes into the back of your throat, and you, like and your drips down. spit in your throat just tastes like coke. Oh, oh. yeah. And that's called the drip. It's called, it's the, called drip. the drip. The drip. Because oh. it just doesn't stay up top um because you know drips. your nasal you i think it's because you're inhaling and it goes down yeah oh, okay. you know like, like when you have a cold yeah, if yeah. you have snot in your nose it goes okay. into your throat it's like Got when it. you spray you know when you spray like yeah it's like yeah yeah congestion Ugh. so you just it's gross enough going up your nose and then you just taste it i mean <laughs> 
Sounds like Drip. a blast. It's fun. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Let's do a lady problem. We got another theme song. Yeah. This is from Steve Porter. Uh, You can find more of his stuff at steveportermusic.com. Thanks, Steve. Lady. Oh, Lady problems. Lady. (laughs) Wow. Lady problems. (laughs) Lady. Lady problems. Wow. wow. That was very much like our morning talk show like intro for oh, us. Yeah. 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 Or like an ad for Tom. A lot of us just turning yeah. over our shoulders abo- like yes. over and over. I mm-hmm. felt very invigorated and, yeah. and woken up. Mm-hmm. A coffee mug just appeared in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little promo we did with coffee mugs at one uh-huh. point. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Are you guys ready for your lady problem? Oh, yes. Yeah, <clears throat> Hi, ladies. I recently started casually dating this guy. Everything seemed to be going so well. His weirdness matched up with mine. We liked the same things and all that jazz. And after a few months of dating, we went on a weekend trip to Tahoe. All was going fairly well until the long drive that forced us to talk into serious issues. I found out some annoying things about him, like he doesn't believe in paying taxes, <gasps> which I which I know you could just choose not to believe in. No, she what, says I didn't know. Which I didn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my bad. Which I didn't know you could just choose not to believe in. Wanting a family or to be married and in general, just man child tendencies. However, the turning point for me, which totally turned him off for me, was this conversation. I'll give you a rough idea of the dialogue. One of you want to be the guy? I'll be the guy. Okay. I can't wait to move back to my hometown and become a teacher at my old high school. Oh, you better wear baggy clothes because all the boys won't be able to focus. Um, I'll wear whatever I want. Well, (laughs) just telling you, for my opinion, the boys can't focus in school around hot girls. Well, maybe we should teach boys to control themselves because I don't have to. I'm just telling you, the boys are not in control of their thoughts. Well... It seems like you're assuming I can't be a good teacher because I'm not ugly. Well, no, but I think you would be a better teacher if you dressed down. Whoa. (laughs) And after this conversation, I was just repulsed (laughs) by him. I knew I could not have any type of relationship with his type of guy. But then, of course, I had to tell everyone close to me, such as my best friends, my dad, my mom, etc. And almost unanimously told me that it wasn't that big of a deal and that I just was and that I was just looking for something to end it. So I'm not sure if I should over if I should overlook this, even though I feel so passionately against his point of view or drop him like Beyonce dropped lemonade. Whoa. Any <laughs> thoughts you lovely ladies have would Great be so simile. helpful. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Fuck up what everyone else thinks. See, I, yeah. I get what he's saying and I wonder if in the spirit of the car drive if they've been getting along and he said that she go, oh really? Did you have a teacher? She might open up the discussion and go, what did you mean? Did you have a teacher who was hot? Did she make you always get like, I, Dave, producer Dave, <laughs> Hi. I can only imagine, and we can't imagine, what it was like to get surprise boners right through high school. <laughs> and like, to be so embarrassed, have to lift right. up your bag. Mm-hmm. It is, your and hormones working, are very out of yeah, control. Yeah. Out of control. Yeah. And it's not like just, boys don't, it's not suggesting, I don't think he was suggesting that boys can't control themselves, nor should they try. Mm-hmm. I think it's probably a very difficult time in boys' lives. And he was probably trying to give her a funny compliment and that you're really hot, not mm-hmm. telling her what, to, I think mm-hmm. she probably took up the comment because she'd been so annoyed about the big problem which is that he doesn't want to pay tax I really think the (laughs) fact that she was like boys get boners in school I think the bigger problem is that he doesn't want to pay tax that is true it sounds like she was really annoyed with him and so this was probably at a point in the conversation where it was just like nothing was gonna go well because I think it is obnoxious and it is I think it is misguided you're right it probably was but it's not it was a bit it was was probably you're right a shitty attempt at humor it was but but you're right you don't like this guy yeah, yeah. That's the problem. yeah you I don't, mean, I'm not even like saying. And so the things he said seem worse than they are, but actually, he was probably being like, Oh, when I was at school, I had this hot teacher. Yeah, we didn't pay much attention because I, we were too t- hard trying to bat down our bones all the time. <laughs> I mean, I still have to take issue because it's. I don't appreciate him telling you how to do your job when you're the one yes, who's a teacher. So he definitely can still fuck but right she, off. She, based on his bad vibes, was assuming he was saying, You're a bad teacher, you wouldn't be able to sort it out. But actually, that's not what he was saying. Yeah. You know, he wasn't yeah. calling her skill as a teacher into question there. I don't think anyways. I wasn't in the car. Yeah. Or was I? I mean, <laughs> and then this like, you. there you are people <laughs> who want, I mean, you know, what? if you don't want to pay taxes, I guess find someone else who's into that. But like, you know, 
I, I, <laughs> I mean, Go if he's found a way scene. around it, then yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I mean, for now, like they will. Then find don't you. arrive yes. on That's, the roads that your tax that yeah. other people's taxes have built. Don't go in your car, yes. like you, you, you know. Yeah, I, I got go live in I got mountain. called. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. I was talking to some conspiracy theorists about how there was like fluoride in the water, and uh, which is good. It's good for our teeth. And yeah. someone said that fluoride made you compliant. And I was like, oh, I don't consider God. myself compliant. And then they said, do you pay taxes? And I was like, yeah, but that's not because I've been programmed. It's because I, I was financially irresponsible for a long time and saw mm-hmm. the headache that it caused and yeah. have found that it's much easier just to pay my taxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, taxes go to a lot of good things. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. actually, yeah, if you want our society, frank, there's exists. a lot of stuff that I would rather. I'd actually, to be dead serious with you guys, I was thinking about calculating how much money our government spends on uh, on the military stuff and taking that out of my taxes this year, to be honest. Yeah, I understand that as a point taxes. of view. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder that. is, is that the way to go about it? Or do you, through your very popular podcast, mm-hmm. start a petition against the government about how much they pay on tax? We're definitely like, not going to do that on this out? podcast. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, after listening to the Lady to Lady podcast, <laughs> I have decided to change how much we're spending on the... Can you imagine no, if I that mean, was what, like, the thing that I think it's your broke. prerogative. That's I mean, Obama's last yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> paging Barack yeah. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Henry David Thoreau didn't pay taxes to protest the war. It's, an, it's, it's mm. one way of... Pro- it's a form of protest. But do you organize it so it becomes a protest rather than just not doing it like you have to I suppose if it's a protest I guess you have to figure out what's the most effective Emma Thompson the actress Emma Thompson uh, and her husband are refusing to pay tax at the moment they're making a big thing about in the UK until I can't remember what their end goal was which shows you how effective my reading is it a Brexit related thing it wasn't Brexit related but it was about the government and how they were taking away money from something I'm not going to speak exactly what it was but they herself and her husband hate, yes the banking so there were banks like who weren't paying their taxes oh yeah um, and so they were like we're not going to pay our taxes then mm-hmm. because those big banks are not paying their taxes they're paying like 1% or whatever yeah. then we're not going to pay ours so it was like you're right it's a very valid form of protest yeah. but it's making it public so that yeah, it you becomes have to make it public. a protest I don't know if, even, if you have to make it public and I don't even know if I necessarily believe that everyone needs to pay I don't think that that in and of itself is a problem the problem is you don't like him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is really yeah. 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 You yeah. rounded that up like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. The problem go, going on this long weekend and finding out on the way there that you don't like him, that must yeah. have been a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. that sucks. The whole, what did she do the rest of the time? That, uh, it was on the way back. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was that. Good. Oh, whew. But, but fuck what your parents and friends and, and senators think. Like, <laughs> you don't like this guy. Bye. Yeah, you yeah. don't. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't like him, you if don't like him. If your senator's telling you to go out with the guy and you don't like him. <laughs> Drop him like lemonade. <laughs> say, <laughs> boy, <laughs> bye. And you're done. Tell yeah. him, boy, bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and listen to that song. Because that I'm, like, so in a great relationship right now. But when I listen to that song, I wish I could just be breaking up with someone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was 45. I've just realized it's boy, bye. Oh. Tell him, boy, bye. <laughs> 45. It was. <laughs> Tell, put your fingers Top, tell him 45 tell him 45 what do you guys think though about the uh, about something. what he was saying about the teachers and stuff because I do agree that you know it's a very hormonal time of life mm. and yeah, I yeah. yeah obviously guys shouldn't be a, you I know, mean so I was be... a young teacher who got mm-hmm. hit on by my students um and I, you know you learn pretty quickly how to dress and how to deal with them so the, yeah. I think what, what yeah. annoys me is that she's the professional who has worked in this field and knows how to do her job yeah she it's right. not to, to me it's the bigger mansplaining thing of like I've never yes. worked in education and I know what you should yeah. do so that's, that's what's it. annoying out of this situation and I think the point that uh, she's maybe bringing up in a feminist way mm-hmm. is that it was a version of mansplaining the idea is mm-hmm. not nuts and to suggest that like kind of like it doesn't happen is just maybe not facing a reality when you're dealing with young boys at a very hormonal time yeah, yeah. But, but girls the, the, get crushes the, on their teachers too exactly get oh crushed. my god yeah i know yeah and it can be quite but pressurized guys, but to i feel like girls coming up to young male right. teachers as well mm-hmm. yeah because oh i always got crushes on my teachers i had yeah. crushes on a lot of teachers mm. yeah <laughs> Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you called him by his first name? Because I, I, well, I started taking college classes when I was like younger. And so I had this screenwriting, my first screenwriting teacher at UCLA. I was fucking 16 and I was obsessed <gasps> with this like overweight, <laughs> middle aged man named Larry who rode on picket fences. And I just. <laughs> Up to <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Did Larry dress in a way that provoked you? Yeah. No. Honestly, I'm just very attracted to men's minds. 
Yeah. I like have always. He should have covered like, up his mind with some baggy clothes. Well, he I should have covered that, up. That's his mind what it comes down to, though, is there's a very big difference sometimes between what women are attracted to and what men are attracted yes. to. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it, Larry didn't need to cover up his brain to fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. shield him from your advances or whatever. <laughs> Put a shawl over it, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Pull that sleeve up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but also it's like at the end of the it, 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 who cares? Yeah, it, they're probably, she, I mean, I would go in to sub with no makeup on and a frumpy t-shirt and jeans mm. and I would still get hit on all that. I mean, like, yeah, yeah it doesn't go, matter. You so can it, do whatever you want. Ultimately, of you're course. the adult there. You yeah. know how to do yeah, your yeah, job, yeah, especially yeah. if you're working with teenagers. You learn very quickly how yeah. to do your job well. And it's yeah. not, it's insulting to think that somebody who's never been in that situation is going to tell you how to do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. 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 I think that's what it was. Yeah. But yeah. he was probably making a, a passing comment that turned into like a you don't know how to do your job properly it seemed mm-hmm. like if we'd been getting along really well we both agreed that we both love paying taxes mm-hmm. we both were <laughs> talking <laughs> about all the things that we loved but then he said this that would be weirder but I think it was coming off and it does sound yeah. like I bet you because the joke fell flat even, yeah. even or that yeah. or he was purposely like poking at her because all their yeah. conversations have been going badly and mm-hmm. I know that sometimes I do mm-hmm. that when especially in like a relationship setting when like things have been going bad and they're near the end. I'm like, I'm just going to be a yeah. dick about everything. Here we go. Up, blow it up. <laughs> it's that like scab picking. And yeah. I was just like, Ooh, yeah. let I mean, me just be an asshole. <laughs> my understanding of this, the whole problem is based on the, which I feel at the moment we haven't uh, talked about is mm-hmm. the wonderful play that was enacted between Tess and Barbara. Oh, uh, thank you. Like yeah, Barbara yeah. gave him a real depth, which I don't <laughs> yeah. know if he had or not. And so that's what I'm basing this on is your, that uh, is true. Christian he Bay, could have, like, I, could have sounded like anything you that's know? true we, yeah. we don't know. you gave him a sensitivity that i'm not sure he had <laughs> yeah you might yeah. have given him a little too much credit yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah but you know dump, yeah. dump the chump <laughs> dump, dump him dump him dump him Dump feel him. free to play that to your fa- let's do a clean take for the family ready one two three dump, dump him dump him dump him dump him <laughs> all <right. laughs> um all right you guys yeah i shall where can people find you on the internet what? Where can people find you? <laughs> oh, uh, where can people find me on the internet? Sorry, I, I, I didn't realize we were finishing. I've been having such a good time. We were like, Aww. well, we solved that problem yeah. so quickly. Yeah, she's yeah. got it. I mean, we got into fiscal policy. Yeah. Before we yeah. Debate. yeah. And so, what would you guys do? I mean, that's a pretty big deal. The taxes thing is pretty, that's a deal breaker, right? Oh, see, I yeah. don't know. Deal breaker yeah. for me. Oh, not I'm for not... Tess. There's no way that's a deal breaker for Tess. <laughs> <laughs> like, already tell if someone says that, she'll be like, yeah, man, that's right. Let's go fuck shit up. <laughs> I, I, think think. It, I think it would be because I just don't I don't <laughs> think I feel like he just doesn't want to pay them if there mm. was a conscientious objector if like, <laughs> yeah. there was like yeah. a reason if there was a reason yeah. why I also think a portion makes sen- more sense to me than none like if you're right. not paying your t- any of your taxes like kind of fuck off because you drive on yeah, roads yeah, yeah. there's we're a society. Yeah, unless this guy yeah. can like float and doesn't need to use any. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you found a floating man, I'd take everything back that I said and marry him. <laughs> Yo, he doesn't want to get married or have to. A floating man who doesn't pay taxes? Well, hello. <laughs> hello. hello. Or he has a dragon. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that's possible. If this guy has a dragon, definitely break up with him because you will always be number two. But, mm. so true. well, you wouldn't have a car if you had a dragon probably, but I think I've said this before. Uh, dragons would like... Can you imagine their shits like all over your cars? Oh, yeah. Your neighbors would hate you because they'd yeah. have giant like you'd bird. have to get a gazebo cover to put. You know the way with dog poos, you put them into little bags. Yeah. Right, you'd have oh, to get like some be... sort of gazebo cover or oh, they could poop into the but gazebo. Maybe, yeah, or like yurt up. maybe. To but where are you gonna get into... rid of that? I guess the dragon could transport it. Yeah, I think yeah. dragons could maybe shit jelly beans or something though. We don't know. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Ooh, dragon shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, I'm so not gonna something watch. comes up. <laughs> <laughs> the, the search comes up. Dragons do not exist. What? <laughs> Wait for me, internet. I don't believe it. Okay, <laughs> don't believe it. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. So where, where am I on yeah, the what's your Twitter and your my uh, Twitter handle? Internet is at We miss B W I. Oh wait, no, no, that's wrong. W e e m i s s b e a. We the yeah the we compute for the system. small miss for miss mm-hmm. uh, b for my surname, and then today today is the twenty first of September when yeah. this podcast comes out. Yes. Mm-hmm. So tomorrow, myself and my friend Lou Sanders, who's an hilarious comedian from the UK, are hosting a gig at the Virgil. In where is where is the Virgil? In um, LA. Hollywood, in LA. Hollywood. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, so like a little bit east of Hollywood, mm-hmm. east of West Hollywood, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, yeah, I'll be in a few little bits and bobs 
which you can find on Twitter. Nice. I'll talk about Go them. check out that show. The Virgil's one of the best uh, spots to see show the in Virgil. LA. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's run by an Irish man. It's an Irish bar. Oh, I didn't know, know that. that. Yeah. Oh. Show a picture. This yeah. happens there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, and then if you guys are listening to the show, go on iTunes right oh, yes. now and leave us a review because we're giving out... Uh, a t-shirt we owe some people t-shirts yeah we're gonna send them out in October first week in October we're picking our favorite we're doing them all at once I didn't even (laughs) yeah yeah we're doing them all at once because we're recording ahead of time that's oh yeah (laughs) because I am not going to the post office twice Uh, yeah because we're not sponsored by stamps.com yet so so (laughs) stamps.com (laughs) <laughs> Stamps.com, go fuck yourself until you give us money. <laughs> go stamp yourself. Hey. And then we can have like a mail chip version like the serial going, Stampus? Stampus dot Mail Stampus? Uh, but yeah, go to iTunes, leave us a review. We're picking our favorite ones for every week in September, and you get a t-shirt, some pins, a koozie, <sighs> the whole, a whole bunch of fun the stuff. The whole deal. Yeah, so go to iTunes right now and review Lady to Lady. And go buy your tickets five, for the Chicago five Podcast stars, Festival. Five stars, please. Five stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. it, you leave a good review. If you leave a shitty one, we probably won't choose it. Yeah. Don't leave a we dragon poo it. review on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Or do, if it's five stars. Yeah, mm. it works for us. And follow us all on Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, follow us on Twitter. Bye. Bye. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.